Hey guys, what's up? So, um, ooh, I am a person that stays up to date on current events. Haven't quite figured out how I want to incorporate it into my channel, but um, I couldn't let the day go by or the week go by without doing this video just simply because how much this person has to do with my childhood and upbringing and overall just like formulation of me so if you guys were under a rock yesterday um and you did it here kobe bryant has passed away kobe bryant and his daughter and um her teammate and i think they were on their way to like a game of hers um they were in his helicopter which they normally he normally takes his helicopter because if you guys don't know la traffic is horrific and so they take this helicopter from calabasas to the staples center to avoid traffic and he's been doing it for years doing it for multiple games while he was playing so for years and um if you've been following Kobe Bryant since his retirement, then you know that his daughter Gianna, which is the like the middle child, the second oldest, has uh, started playing basketball. And um, I don't know if Kobe was like, I don't know if he was coaching her. I don't think he was coaching her team, but he was like heavily involved, you know, in her playing or whatever. So. <clears throat> the daughter's on the helicopter he's on the helicopter um later you know we find out that it's another little family the mom the dad and their daughter were on this helicopter everyone on the helicopter dies they said nine people passed away um from this crash and so you know when we find out my my sister my baby sister <clears throat> and my sister right under me are really into basketball and I used to play and that's when I was really into basketball you know we were fans of the Lakers like as a family and prior to um, pri prior to the 3 P, and then we really love them you know during the 3 P, and I could name you know all the players and Gary Payton and Shaq and Kobe and you know all these people and they were the dream team and we were rooting for them we would all get together with all of our friends every summer and watch the NBA finals and the playoffs <laughs> and then you know from there we started branching off and liking our own team or other teams after they broke up the that Lakers dream team but you know we had the shirts and LA was always celebrating the three-peat and you know the duo of Shaq and Kobe and like that's really a part of our childhood I can remember distinctly being at Cache and Rihanna's house and watching the games and having all our Laker gear on or them winning a championship and us wanting to go to LA or the Garmin district or fashion district to get shirts because they were cheaper and you know Kobe just being the epitome of this great player and when my sister called me and said that the first thing I did was Google because I'm like are you sure because he's not like unhealthy he's not someone who eats bad he's not someone you know so I'm thinking like you know you would think if you take care of yourself like nothing bad's gonna happen but for him to this helicopter which he takes all the time for him to die this way it was just so surreal and so more news was coming out it was trending on twitter and we hadn't found out about the daughter yet but just the blow of kobe bryant was just like i need us to be sure because twitter be killing off people and then they'd be just fine right so then we find out that it really was true indeed him he really did die and then people were trying to kill off rick fox and then we find out rick fox is alive it wasn't him but then we find out his daughter has passed on top of that and so it was just a very 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 hard blow very hard blow so i'm just feeling like you know the impact that kobe bryant had on la on southern california on california period on the world on the sports world on the philanthropic world on you know dads and daughters and that whole relationship on overcoming infidelity with your wife and all of that and having this 20-year marriage over being a dad of four girls over just like he had so many relatable things that he had going for him that it just was like bruh why him 
And I literally asked my husband yesterday, who I don't know if you guys know, um, Kobe Bryant's his favorite player, and I also grew up on Kobe Bryant. And so we named our dog Kobe. Um, we named our dog Kobe because, you know, my mom, I remember us being on the phone, my mom, and we were trying to think of a name. My mom was like, well, isn't Damien's favorite um, player Kobe Bryant? We were like, yeah. And so we named him Kobe. And so, <clears throat> just to let you guys kind of know, like, how much we love this player, um, my husband deals with death a lot easier than me. You know, I wasn't crying or anything, but it just had me in deep thought. You know, as some, as a follower of Christ, it just makes me wonder, like, why? Like, I always try to find the lesson. I always try to understand and sometimes there is no lesson or there is no understanding at that moment. And so I just had to just be okay with that. And I just can't imagine how Vanessa's feeling. It was just such a hard blow. Like in the Grammys, you know, you could see everybody was so affected. And it was just pertinent to have Alicia Keys at that moment, her soft voice and just really creating a vibe that was helping us kind of heal in that moment with it being in LA it was very it was imperative that she was the hostess which usually I have a problem with her but she did really good and boys to men coming out and them singing that acapella like off the cuff like that was great <clears throat> so even like <clears throat> uh, even with uh how they had the Nipsey tribute in the end. Cause you know, Nipsey, he hasn't even been gone a year. Nipsey has not even been gone a year. LA has lost two of its like pivotal people. And it just, it just is just jarring. It's jarring, it's shocking. It's, it's like, and there's nothing you can do because I really, I really woke up this morning and was like, it was a dream. It didn't really happen. It was a dream. But then I realized like it really did. And I don't know why I feel like you know, Kobe Bryant's a celebrity. I've never met him in my life. But when you know of a celebrity for so long and <clears throat> you do assignments on him and you see him like on the court and he's the epitome of this and you see him go through all these different things, like you really feel like you know him. And um, maybe that's why it's like such a hard blow because you know that he just was minding his own business too on top of that. Like he wasn't this person that like he he was just a great guy sorry guys i'm like getting sick he was just a great guy so it just sucks um you guys leave down in your comments down in the comments what you think about all this um i hope that you're spending you know your time loving on your family and those around you and like me and my coworkers were talking about that's why it just don't even be worth it to be harboring or harping on just malice and having ill intent or just being upset for days and days and days like I will always preach that you know stuff is just it just don't be that bad to be negative all the time um and because you just never know you just never know um so yeah I wanted to hop on here because Kobe Bryant he's just been pivotal when I reflect on my childhood, I can recall him being the topic of a lot of conversations, the meaning, the reason why a lot of me and my friends are meeting up, <coughs> us being on the basketball court and yelling out, Kobe, like, you know, just stuff like that. And obviously my dog who just turned one, his name is Kobe after this basketball player who's like, Kobe Bryant was our Michael Jordan with a whole better attitude, like, so rest in peace to Kobe. Prayers for his family. Prayers for those other families that have been affected because of those other deaths that occurred from that helicopter. And I just want to hop on here and just say like just try to be positive. Don't harp on things over and over because you just never know. You never know. And it's not saying that if you're positive you're going to live. That's not what I want to say here. I want to say that being positive it's just ensuring that you know that this may be your last time talking to someone. This may be your last time. And so just make it count. Okay, I'm Kim Ray. This is Kim Ray Music TV. Subscribe down below, like the video. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.